make it, sing it, draw it, say it. This is how dog zombies play it. Doodle must a furry creature, draw a picture of my teacher. I like wafers, they're the best. Marcus Meldrew's not impressed. Granny's custard's very lumpy. Delia is always grumpy. I'm Tom Nicks. Brilliant show. Turn Marcus Meldrew into a furry creature. Get creative with a Tom Gates mini book and make your awesome doodles come to life. Welcome to my brilliant show. Oh, hi. It's World Book Day and my mum completely forgot. I can't believe you forgot to tell me, Tom. Ah, yeah. Luckily, I've got a great idea. All we need is some tinfoil, and I can go as the Iron Man. And we won't even be late for school. <sighs> but we better hurry. There you go, Tom. And I don't think anyone will notice we ran out of foil. I look like a half-opened parcel. Can I be a swamp monster instead? I'll try. See what happens when you don't tell us about book week. I did. Two weeks ago. I think. Um. I'm supposed to be scaly, not furry. You'll be covered in scales and no one will see the kittens. It will be like the swamp monster has come to life. Scales, Mama saved the day. Book week, here I come. Welcome to my brilliant show. Let's make it. As it's book week, now it's time to make a mini book. You will need an A4 sheet of paper, a pair of scissors. Be careful with scissors. A pen and some pencils to decorate. And a glue stick? Ah, uh, no. Sorry. Oh, Not today. Hi. Maybe next time. Now, make sure you have everything you need. Fantastic. Take your paper, fold it in half, then half again, and then half again. Now, unfold the paper so it's only been folded once. Important bit, make sure the paper is folded just like this. Take your scissors... Be careful with scissors! ..and cut down this line. Now, if you unfold your paper, it should have a hole in the middle, like this. OK, this part is a little tricky. Stand your paper up and carefully push together, creating four separate pages. Fold these pages round and you should have your book. I decided to draw some monsters in my book. You can draw anything you like. You can also draw on the paper before folding it into a book and make your very own colouring book. Have fun with the mini book by making any pattern or design you like. Awesome! Peru and our, uh, Time for some furry facts. Chinchillas don't shed their fur. If something tries to catch them, they have fur slip and lose it in clumps. Mm. Ah! Chinchillas can also leap six feet in the air. Yeah, no kidding. A housefly hums in the key of F. Um, I think that was more like a uh, each up. Excuse me for being a little off once in a while. <laughs> Apparently, a tarantula can go up to two years without food. You couldn't wait two more minutes. <laughs> now, how to turn someone into a furry creature. Step one, do a drawing. Step two, add a lot of fur. I'm a furry creature. I can't argue with that. <laughs> 
What are you laughing at? Nothing. <laughs> oh. Now, that is funny. Right now, I'm going to show you how to make a couple of different types of flip books. Wow, now I am excited. You need two pieces of paper and some sticky notes, like this. Take your piece of paper, fold it in half, run your finger down the end, and then turn it over like it's a book. Can't wait to see more. You've got to do your drawing closer to the corner of the paper. That's because when you're trying to do the flicking, if you do it in the middle, it's going to be very difficult to do, like that. Got it. I'm just going to draw Tom's face. Amazing. So what you're actually doing here is drawing your second picture, the one with the expression on. You're doing that first before you do the other picture. I'm using a permanent marker, so be careful with your fingers. Do put something underneath the table if you are using a permanent marker. If you draw like a really big expression, that will give you much more of a contrast, and I'll show you next. So we've drawn Tom with a very big expression. Now if you put the paper down, you could see roughly through the paper, and now I'm going to draw Tom again, but then change his expression. Keep everything the same, nose the same. The things I'm going to change are his eyes and his mouth. Tom just smiling. Right, let's see how that works. Then you just hold it and you can flick it like that. That works, I think. So you could try all different types of expressions. You could make his hair go up, you could do a monster. Awesome! I might try another one now. Let's try a bug. So don't forget, draw at the top end of the paper so that you can hold it and flick it. Put his arms up in the air and his legs. Maybe give him some fur. Gonna take a pencil, add a little bit of shadow like that and some lines so he looks like he's jumping up. Just see him there. So I'll need to move him down a little bit because obviously he's jumping up. Try to change things a little bit. Might just add a little bit of shadow there. Right, let's see how that works. So you can make very simple animations like that. That's basically what animation is. It's just doing lots of those drawings and just changing everything just a tiny bit. So another thing you can do, if you want to make slightly longer animation, I'm going to use this sticky note pad. Wow, that's cool. You can already see I've drawn Mr. Fullerman. A bunch of Mr. Fullermans, one after the other, exactly the same, but I'm missing out his eyes and any expressions really. So his mouth is the same, I've drawn him the same. I'm not moving Mr. Fullerman around, so I'm just going to draw the last three Mr. Fullermans on top so you can see how I did it. You can see through underneath, so it's the same as the paper. So I'm just drawing Mr. Fullerman exactly the same. Another one. Like that. Right, now I've done those, I'm going to go right back to the beginning and I'm going to add a fly and then make Mr. Fullerman's eyes follow them all the way around and the fly will go into different places and that's what's going to move. Great stuff! And every time you do a drawing you just move the fly just a little bit over. So I'm making Mr. Fullerman's eyes follow the fly and then go in different directions as well so he's going cross-eyed. So every time I do something I'm just moving it a little bit. So you just draw it in a slightly different place than it was before and you should be able to see what you've drawn underneath. And we'll leave Mr Fullerman's mouth wide open. Mr Fullerman's gone cross-eyed. I need to make the fly disappear now. Let's leave 
Mr. Fullerman like that. Whew, that took a while. That's why it's quite a good idea if you're going to do a flip book, choose something simple to draw because you're going to be doing a lot of drawings. Shall we see if that works? But you could do all kinds of things. You could do bugs, you could do monsters, just a face, just something really simple. Make your own animation. That was great. Why don't you give it a go? Welcome to my British show! Ha <laughs> ha Tickles! Buzz off, you pesky fly! This is not the book week look I was going for. I don't even have any glue to stick the scales back on. Glue stick? Yeah! Glue! 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 Uh, okay. Keep still! Oh, no. Can somebody help? Well, guess as always next year. Oh.